what's the haps, morgs, MMA community. Listen up, coming at you with a quick one, because the weather is beautiful here in sunny Melbourne, Australia, right? Perfect beach weather, gonna go hit the gym, hop in the pool, read a bit of a book and then go to the beach. Okay, so it's a quick one, I'm only covering the fights that I give a damn about, because I don't give a damn about these motherfuckers. But listen, I'm a casual, I don't care. But I, I know a thing or two, alright, I swear to God. First up, Roll Rosas Jr. Now listen, overhyped, but an incredible talent for his age. Roll Rosas Jr., he got outclassed a little bit in his last fight. I wouldn't say outclassed, he probably skill for skill, better than, what was that mofo's name, bro? Probably skill for skill, he was probably better than Rodriguez. However, Rodriguez out-experienced him. Roll blew his load too early, got way too tired, and was a sitting duck in the second and third round, losing that decision. However, I think that loss would have been absolutely monumental to his career. And Terence Mitchell's coming out here saying he wants to, you know, he wants to be that loss that really teaches him a lesson. But I think Raul has already learned that lesson. And if he can perform the way he did in that first round, but slow his roll and maintain his gas tank, he's going to dominate Terence Mitchell on the ground. I feel like Terence Mitchell is 33. I don't really feel like he's not elite opposition. And I think Raul will be able to get through him quite easily, similar to how um, Cameron Simon did to him last time. I could see Raul having him spread on his um, on his stomach, landing some ground and pound, the ref having to step in on the second round. So that will be the Mystic Morgs prediction. Second round, ground and pound, TKO for Raul Rosas Jr. And if I'm being 100% honest, I think the smarter money is on Terrence Mitchell with the experience and, not, and all of that sort of stuff. Defensive wrestling, striking. I think the smart pick is Terrence Mitchell. However... It's a very personal sport, it's a very intimate sport, the most in the world, you know. So, Raul's 19, I'm 19, and I would feel wrong not going with my boy, my fellow 19 year old. I just feel like I have to, I feel like because, because this is what he's doing and we're the same age and this motherfucker's in the UFC, how can I not support him? How can I not back him? I don't give a damn. Mystic Morgs is backing Raul Rosas Jr. because he's an inspiration. Mum, so I don't give a damn. I know after Volk, Volk to Ivas, I said I wouldn't do this, but I don't give a fuck. I don't even like him, and he's the ugliest motherfucker in human history. Look at that face. Oh, we that man, we that man. It sounds like a spastic, but I don't care. I want nothing but the best for that young man in his career, and I hope he wins because Mystic Morgs will not be happy. Now, listen. This is what we're all here for. Kevin Holland versus Jack Della Maddalena. Big Mouth versus the man with the most fucked up nose in the UFC. Look at that. Hey, look at my nose. My nose is a bit crooked, but fuck, that's next level. Okay, that's next level. Alright? So, Kevin Holland versus Jack, Madala Jack Della Maddalena. You'd have to imagine that this will be a striking match. And it will be Jack Della Maddalena's boxing versus Kevin Holland's kickboxing. Kevin Holland can mix it up and do it all just about, but Jack is mainly known um, for some low kicks and his incredible, incredible boxing. Some of the best you've ever seen in the UFC, or at least the welterweight division. Anyway, come on. You know who Miss Sigamorgs is picking. It's no secret. That's my boy. Jack Della Maddalena, I've been on the hype train since the Contender Series. That's a future future Walter Weight champion right there. Kevin Holland could barely get through um, Cowboy, whatever his name is. Uh, I, I can't remember his full name, but the Brazilian Cowboy. Could barely get through him. I think, was that a decision? We'll have a quick look, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a quick look. Was that a decision? I think it was. One second, gang, gang. Where is it? Oliveira? Oh no, KO, TKO'd him in the second round. But still, had a close first round with Oliveira, beat Tim Means, got ragged old by Chimaev, st close striking match with Thompson. Now that is the most telling. That could be dangerous for Jack Della Maddalena um, because Kevin Holland can strike with a guy like Wonderboy. However, two completely different styles of striking, and I don't think they can exactly be compared for this matchup. 
Round three, um, KOTK against Ponzinibbio. Right. Madalena would have Ponzinibbio out of there in under a round. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. And Kiesa, right. Kiesa, uh, he drives the school bus these days, right? He's got, he had no chance against Kevin Holland. So, in this fight, I've got Jack Daddle Madalena. Uh, I reckon he'll finish big mouth. Big left hook to the body, follow-up shots. I don't think he'll KO him flat, but I do think this matchup does not favour Kevin Holland. We saw what Jack Daddle Madalena did to someone with a similar build in Randy Rude Boy. Randy Rude Boy Brown. And look. They're quite, they're quite comparable in the welterweight division. Kevin Holland's chin and his ability to take a punch in the welterweight division will be greatly affected. And Jack Della Maddalena hits like a truck, bro. So going into this, I've got Jack Della Maddalena, 12, um, second round KO, TKO, Mum Soul, Mystic Moors, watch it happen, okay? Um, Kevin Holland won't be able to wrestle Jack Della Maddalena because we saw what happened when Hafez tried to wrestle him. And yeah, he did get end up on the ground, but he had good defensive wrestling and survived on the ground. Kevin Holland does... Um, Offer more of a submission threat than Hafez did, but I don't think he'll be able to catch Jack Della Maddalena in a sneaky submission unless he hurts him and wraps up a DAS. I could see that happening, but I can't see that happening. Anyway, moving on. Alexa Grasso versus Valentina Shevchenko. Here we go. All right. Will Valentina come back to win her belt? First thing I'd like to say is fuck these shitty Mexican uh, uh, custom belts. They gave Ye one for the f interim title that he won against the fraud green goblin Josh Emmett. They gave him a custom belt. Now Alexa Grasso's got a custom belt. She hasn't even defended it. It's, it's actually a joke, and it's um sucking up to the Mexicans so hard. And it honestly does my head in. And look, I was going to give Alexa some props, but because they've got the fucking custom belt in the photo, that does my head in. I've got Valentina just destroying her. I don't even care. I'm not even going to think about it too much. Valentina Shevchenko, I think she has what it takes to get it done. I reckon she... I reckon Alexa Grasso's boxing might be a bit too much for Shevchenko on the feet, but I do believe that Shevchenko will be able to offensively wrestle against Alexa Grasso. And when she is wrestling offensively against Grasso and not throwing a spinning kick and getting caught in a move that was drilled by Grasso 100,000 times, I don't think Grasso has anything to offer her on the ground. All right? So I do see Valentina... She could even get get the W by ground and pound. People forget Valentina is a... Uh, Valentina. Valentina is a um, world Muay Thai... Six-time Muay Thai world champion, you know? So, the striking is a lot closer than it may seem. But I do think Alexa Grasso has the edge because her boxing is very crisp. But um, offensively on the ground, I think Valentina might have too much for her. I know Alexa Grasso is good at jiu-jitsu and has that Mexican jiu-jitsu style. But I do think Valentina will simply have too much for her. So, I'm going to pick Valentina by, deci by decision. Um, we'll probably go 48-47 Valentina Shevchenko decision. I reckon she'll just get it done, and then I reckon she will lose the belt in her next fight. But we shall see tomorrow. I have been Misty Morgs. Sorry if the quality of this video isn't the highest. I guarantee you my next couple of videos will be bangers. But I've just got a lot to do, okay? I'll talk to you all later. Like and subscribe. I've been Morgs. That's the Habs. If Morgs says it, it's facts. Mum's salt.